everyone, Mark and Joey here on a Thursday morning and appropriate to talk tennis. We just got back from our own match, which by the way, dad won in a tiebreaker 7-5, I think it was. So big day for me. Hey, maybe it was my cool eye cover sunglasses that I just got and they're fantastic for playing outside. Beautiful sunny day today. It was a little cool starting out, but uh, it turned beautiful and uh, what a great day. And by the way, we're where we live in the summertime here in Ontario, Canada. And you can see in the background, we got the lake right there. It's a beautiful setting for us to spend you always see us inside, but we thought we'd come outside today. There's no wind. Just a beautiful day. We're talking U.S. Open. I stayed up again last night. The tennis has been unbelievable. The Canadian female winning again and on her way, it looks like, certainly to the semifinal and maybe a final with Serena. Yeah, we got uh, the semi uh, semifinals tonight on the women's side uh, in the U.S. Open. It's going to be a great night in prime time under the lights, as they like to say it. Um, it's always a big deal there. And uh, we got Serena versus Fitlana. And I hope I said that right. And uh, the number five seed against number eight seed, Serena has yep. quite the advantage over her. Uh, four and one against her in her career. But sure to be an exciting match. Uh, she's played amazing so far. Really dominated her quarterfinals opponent. And then Alina Svitolina uh, obviously is dating one of the, the male tennis players. She, her game's gotten better uh, that she believes with the practice of that. And you could tell, you know, she's handled power really well. They call her human backboard because she just runs around and gets yeah, it back it's and amazing. plays. So uh, that's your first match tonight. Hopefully really exciting. Uh, and then that's followed by our Canadian, Bianca. She's been playing fantastic. What a match last night, man. That yeah. was so exciting. Yeah. Coming back from one set down, she just played amazing. Yeah, she did. She played awesome and really showed some heart there. It uh, wasn't easy her last couple of matches, very late at night, too. Yeah. And she's just done a great job of hanging in there. Tough turnaround only 24 hours later. She's going to have to play her semifinal match. Uh, she's going to play against... Uh, Belinda Benich, and she's been playing really well. In fact, took out Naomi Osaka, yep. the number one seed. Uh, so a young young squad here. You got 22 year old against 19 year old in the second match tonight, um, and then you got 24 year old facing Serena. So uh, three young tennis stars in the making, along with the greatest of all time. So it should be a fun night of tennis. Well, we need Serena and uh, and um, and Bianca. Bianca. God, why can't I get that out? Because that was the match in the Canadian Open that Serena surrendered from like three games in. Uh, was a very disappointing way to end that. I think this would be the way to settle two tournaments in one. So we have to get them in there tonight. We've got to get both of them playing each other. It would be an epic, epic battle. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. But Joey, last night, men's, the, the, the first match was heart, was just heart stopping. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was <laughs> five sets, maybe the match, insane. the tournament, five sets, maybe the match, the tournament, like I said, it's just, uh, something so special yesterday with the Italian and the Frenchman. Uh, it was just an awesome to watch. Uh, you always thought the other one was out, and they came back. Uh, it was so cool, and what a great moment yeah. uh, for the tournament. Um, and led to uh, uh, Berrettini, Italian, first one in, uh, in a long time to make the semifinals on the men's side of, of tennis. And he played fantastic. Yeah. He's 24 years old, going to go up against... Maybe the youth is coming through. Maybe. Uh, going up against Nadal, though, uh, in the semis uh, on Friday, it's going to be very interesting how that matchup plays out. It's going to be very difficult. Uh, Berrettini has a great forehand, but Nadal likes to play to his forehand. Wow. So, um, you know, it's going to be interesting. Whoever can get to their forehand the most will probably end up winning that. Yeah. But a huge advantage for Nadal. The big three are out besides him, so it'll be very interesting to see him play the Italian. I'm sure Nadal's going to bring it and hopefully get to the finals for the fans at the in New York. And hey, I want to mention the game last night. Uh, Nadal is just a machine. I mean, it's just, he just keeps going and going. But he did give up a couple of big leads, which I don't believe he did on purpose. So congratulations. Uh, oh, shit, the guy who's Diego playing. Schwartzman. Schwartzman. Uh, we love him because we're five foot six. He's five foot seven. Yeah. Uh, it looked like one of us out there in the court. Well, not quite. <laughs> At least our size, anyway. Yeah. And uh, he he picked up his game. He won four in a row in the first set. He won four in a row in the second set to get them to to four four and five five. And then Nadal took over like he normally does. And then an easy six two final set, unfortunately. But Nadal, man, oh man, I don't know how, what that guy can do in this in the humidity. I've never seen a man sweat so much in my whole life. And uh, they're getting some cooler temperatures out. It's going to be amazing come the weekend for the finals. It's not going to be so hot. Last night, the Frenchman was really struggling, leaning on his racket almost after every Well, he does that a lot, game. so I'm not looking much into that. You think that was a little bit of uh, He does uh, it all the time. But uh, let's move on to the other semifinal match, which uh, started with the upset over Roger Federer. Grigor Dimitrov uh, played fantastic against Roger Federer. Uh, Federer obviously was a little Retired henry. And hit, a, yeah. hit a lot of uh, balls in the net and wide, but... He, Grigor did play amazing. Now, two sets to he one. Uh, came back, was amazing serving that night. Uh, Federer didn't really have much of a chance off his serve uh, in the last two sets there. So, good for him. He's going to be in there. He's actually ranked 
number 78, but was once number three in the world. So he's back. Um, he has Andre Agassi in his corner now. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how that helps him here in the semifinals. Going against up the number five seed, Medvedev, the Russian, the villain. That guy's been good. Um, he's been fantastic <laughs> over the whole really last couple of months of the season. Uh, he finished second at the Rogers Cup. Uh, he won Cincinnati, and now here he is again in the semifinals. The five seed should get through. He's played fantastic so far. Probably be good for tennis if he got in there against Nadal. Yeah. He's kind of been the, the hater, like I said. Um, so another great semifinals match there on Friday. Uh, hopefully uh, Medvedev and Nadal final for the men's and Serena and Bianca for the women's. Uh, we'll stay tuned and see how those play out. Well, it should turn out that way. Like you say, some it's a good competition, but I think that's the way it should come through. We're looking forward to it. going to be very exciting. And uh, we'll be back with tennis as we progress. Uh, if we hear any news before the men's uh, tomorrow, we'll come on and do another show. Otherwise, those are our thoughts going in to the semifinals and looking for an unbelievable finals weekend. We hope you enjoy it as well. We'll be back to talk more tennis, either as a recap on Monday or any news. We'll talk about that as well uh, ahead of time.